Assalamu alaikum welcome to another video this is smart video in this video I am going to show you how to test heteroscedasticity in the data using eViews but before doing that let's see what is heteroscedasticity heteroscedasticity the variance of the error term is not same error term has different variance is called heteroscedasticity to eliminate heteroscedasticity from the data different techniques are used two most commonly techniques used are weighted least square and second is transformation now let's see how to check heteroscedasticity in the data using eviews i have eviews file open i am going to apply regression test on it and then I will check whether heteroscedasticity in the data or not now I am going to apply regression model let's click on the quick estimate questions and write the variables After that, click on OK. After that, click on OK. Now, this is the regression model, which is show that there are one significant variable and two in, in, insignificant variables. 0.631918 is R square. Now, check whether it, in it heteroscedasticity or not. Click on the view. Residual diagnose heteroscedasticity test. For this, I will select Bruch Pagan Borfer test. Click OK. Now, probability value of chi square is 0 0.0051. This means null hypothesis rejected and alternative hypothesis accepted. Means what is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis means there is no heteroscedasticity in the data and the data is homoscedasticity. And what is alternative hypothesis mean? Alternative hypothesis means there is heteroscedasticity in the data. The result shows that the statement is rejected that shows that there is heteroscedasticity in the data is accepted and the data is heteroscedasticity. That's all from today. Thanks for watching.